Experiencing the Depths of Jesus Christ by Madame Jean Guion. If you are starving and can find nothing to satisfy your hunger, then come. Come and you will be filled. Jean Guion. From the shallows to the depths. As you pick up this book, you may feel that you simply are not one of those people capable of a deep experience with Jesus Christ. Most Christians do not feel that they have been called to a deep inward relationship to their Lord. But we have all been called to the depths of Christ. Just as surely as we have been called to salvation. When I speak of this deep inward relationship to Jesus Christ, what do I mean? Actually, it's very simple. It is only the turning and yielding of your heart to the Lord. It is the expression of love within your heart for Him. You will recall that Paul encourages us to pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 The Lord also invites us to watch and pray. Mark 13, 33, and 37 It is apparent from these two verses, as well as many more, that we all live by this kind of experience this prayer, just as we live by love. Once the Lord spoke and said, I counsel you to buy from me gold tried in the fire that you may be rich. Revelation 3.18 Dear reader, there is gold available to you. This gold is much more easily obtained than you could ever imagine. It is available to you. The purpose of this book is to launch you into this exploration and into this discovery. I give you an invitation. If you are thirsty, come to the living waters. Do not waste your precious time digging wells that have no water in them. John 7.37 Jeremiah 2.13 If you are starving and can find nothing to satisfy your hunger, then come. Come and you will be filled. You who are poor, come. You who are afflicted, come. You who are weighed down with your load of wretchedness and your load of pain, come. You will be comforted. You who are sick and need a physician, come. Don't hesitate because you have diseases. Come to your Lord and show him all your diseases and they will be healed. Come, dear child of God. Your Father has his arms of love open wide to you. Throw yourself into his arms. You who have strayed and wandered away as sheep, return to your shepherd. You who are sinners, come to your Savior. I especially address those of you who are very simple and you who are uneducated, even you who cannot read and write. You may think that you are the one person most incapable of this abiding experience of Christ, this prayer of simplicity. 
You may think yourself the one farthest from a deep experience with the Lord, but in fact, the Lord has especially chosen you. You are the one most suited to know Him well. So let no one feel left out. Jesus Christ has called us all. I suppose... There's one group who is left out. Do not come if you have no heart. You see, before you come, there's one thing you must do. You must first give your heart to the Lord. But I do not know how to give my heart to the Lord. Well, in this little book, you will learn what it means to give your heart to the Lord and how to make that gift to Him. Let me ask you then, do you desire to know the Lord in a deep way? God has made such an experience, such a walk, possible for you. He has made it possible through the grace He has given to all His redeemed children. He has done it by the means of his Holy Spirit. How then will you come to the Lord to know him in such a deep way? Prayer is the key. But I have in mind a certain kind of prayer. It is a kind of prayer that is very simple and yet holds the key to perfection and goodness, things found only in God himself. The type of prayer that I have in mind will deliver you from enslavement to every sin. It is a prayer that will release to you every godly virtue. You see, the only way to be perfect is to walk in the presence of God. The only way you can live in his presence in uninterrupted fellowship is by means of prayer, but a very special kind of prayer. It is a prayer that leads you into the presence of God and keeps you there at all times. A prayer that can be experienced under any conditions, any place, and any time. Is there really such a prayer? Does such an experience with Christ truly exist? Yes, there is such a prayer. A prayer that does not interfere with your outward activities or your daily routine. There is a kind of prayer that can be practiced by kings, by priests, by soldiers, by laborers, by children, by women, and even by the sick. May I hasten to say that the kind of prayer I am speaking of is not a prayer that comes from your mind. It is a prayer that begins in the heart. It does not come from your understanding or your thoughts. Prayer offered to the Lord from your mind simply would not be adequate. Why? Because your mind is very limited. The mind can pay attention to only one thing at a time. Prayer that comes out of the heart is not interrupted by thinking. I will go so far as to say that nothing can interrupt this prayer, the prayer of simplicity. Oh yes, there is one thing. Selfish desires can cause this prayer to cease. But even here there is encouragement. For once you have enjoyed your Lord and tasted the sweetness of his love, you will find that even your selfish desires 
no longer hold any power. You will find it impossible to have pleasure in anything except Him. I realize that some of you may feel that you are very slow, that you have a poor understanding, and that you are very unspiritual. Dear reader, there is nothing in this universe that is easier to obtain than the enjoyment of Jesus Christ. Your Lord is more present to you than you are to yourself. Furthermore, his desire to give himself to you is greater than your desire to lay hold of him. How then do you begin? You need only one thing. You need only to know how to seek him. When you have found the way to seek him, you will discover that this way to God is more natural and easier than taking a breath. By this prayer of simplicity, this experiencing of Christ deep within, you may live by God himself with less difficulty and with less interruption than you now live by the air which you take into you. If this is true, then I ask, would it be a sin not to pray? Yes, it would be a sin. But once you have learned how to seek Jesus Christ and how to lay hold of him, you will find the way so easy that you will no longer neglect this relationship to your Lord. Let us go on, therefore, and learn the simple way to pray.